the first thing we changed was where you position the ball relative to your left shoulder. We're moving the ball opposite your left toe. Right. But in doing so, you're going to drop your right foot back a couple inches. You're going to aim your feet at the target. You're going to drop your right shoulder and tilt your upper body back. And you're going to create some tilt here and some tilt here. Okay. And that's going to help you hit up. You're a guy that swung down and to the left. So there I am trying to tilt you back. There you go. Now the goal would be to get your right hip to really rotate as you get older. As you know, it's harder to move. So you've got to really work on keeping your mobility, turning and get a good full turn. And then your goal visually is to think of swinging down and out to the right field while keeping your upper body behind the ball. In other words, those arrows I drew and that circle I drew, I don't want your head to go past where it starts. Okay. So here you are, tilted, that looks good, your ball's forward, you turn behind it, that's nice. Here you're going back, not a big back swing, but I'd love to see you get it back a little farther. How could we do that? I'd like to see you kick your knees in. I think this, you're bow-legged, but that's no good. And the reason is it restricts your hip turn. And you don't need any restrictions because you don't have any movement anyway. For the most part, you've got a short backswing. So by bringing your feet a little closer together, kicking your knees in, turning your right foot outward a little bit, flaring it, that's going to promote more rotation. All right, so you're behind it nice here. Now you're going to start down, and you're moving your upper body a little forward of where it started. See how your head went past the line I drew? That is causing you to hit a low shot. That's why I said you got to create on the downswing your left shoulders got to go up your right shoulders got to go down you got to create tilt now it's impossible to slide forward if you tilt your head can't go forward it's impossible there's only one way it can go and that's back so the best players in the world they don't and like i said you're a shoulder guy so you you get power you your brain is really remarkable what it does is it identifies your power source and it makes you use it this is where all your power is and so that's what you use. Well, that's okay. I'm not saying don't do it, but you've got to incorporate this idea of tilting, you know. And so when I go, you know, and look, I don't like to show amateurs pros because it's not a fair, you know, nobody's a pro. I mean, your body, these guys are built, been playing golf since they were six years old. They were hyper mobile. Their shoulders are mobile. But he doesn't really get behind it, but watch the tilt coming down. See how his head's starting to go back? His shoulders are way tilted. Right. So that's what you don't have, and that's what's causing your attack angle to be downward, and the best players in the world hit up. So, like, his club is going to go up. See how it's traveling up? So that's what you don't do. Now, when you hit the golf ball, your club, it's going up a little much better than it was, okay? But... You could do a lot better if you could get some of that tilt incorporated in your downswing. Now, that's a big ask. I'm not going to lie to you. It's much easier to just stand like this and get like this at impact. It's a big ask because it puts a lot of compression force on your spine, and it's tough. It's not easy um, to change something that takes three one-hundredths of a second. You can't process that much information. It's complex movement. So that's why I say if you can set up to do all of this stuff, then the effect will be, yeah, you're going to hit from the inside and hit up. But I think uh, the best drill for you right here would be to put your forehead. I'll show you this drill. We'll, we'll, we'll imagine this is a door. Okay, you got the door jam, like that door there. Your forehead's there, and then your butt's on the back of the door. When you swing, I want you to push your rear end back. And what does that do to your head? It moves your head down, but also I want you to feel like... You, Yep, back, and then I want you to feel like you're getting that way. So you're going to practice at home, creating some tilt. making your. And the reason I put the door in front of you is so you have something to identify, some feedback. So, like, you can tell if your head's moving. The door's right there in front of you. door's right here. Door, right. And then turn back, and then as you come down, feel like your head's moving back. That way you can... Uh, tell oh yeah okay I am moving back at impact my head is so you're trying to create some tilt and 
your butt's the back you see the back of the door there your butt's going to go into the back of that door and you're going to create some side bends so you got a combination of tilt and then you got a combination of hip hinge hinge meaning rear end back so your hips go forward a little bit but anyway I'm more interested in just getting you to tilt more so this little bit of movement forward is why your ball goes so low so you know in a perfect world we're gonna try to fix this today we're gonna try to get you to not move your head past that arrow your nose can't go past that see how it goes forward but if you could stop that now you're gonna give yourself another 20 yards because you're gonna launch it much higher it's gonna carry much further your location yeah right another right right but this is right and this is a really good ball position for you we just gotta not slide your upper body in front of the ball at impact we gotta create more side bend all right and you know by and large it doesn't matter who I put up here pro none of them go forward the head never goes in front of where it starts um, you know this is an old picture of Ricky Fowler before he is bow-legged back then but he doesn't have mobility issues this guy's got hyper mobility he can turn his body like a contortionist I mean if you and I could turn our shoulders like that we wouldn't it wouldn't matter how you bow your legs but see there's some tilt going back there and so he's got a lot of sh you know stand behind it and you can obviously see his shoulders are tilted back and the ladies do it even more because they don't have the power so they really have to tilt and hit up. They hit up like four or five degrees. All right. Let's hit.